let's see what we got over here. She's covering her tails here. Why is she covering her tails here? She's covering stuff because she has eggs. Yeah, you're lying to me. Oh my god, we have crayfish eggs already. Joey Slam. And as you can see, we never left. We're definitely gonna get those red crayfish 1000%. They're really cool. Let's go ahead and zoom in and check them out, guys. Look at these red lobsters right here. Look at these big old red ones. And I think they're ready to be making some babies. That is right. That one's a female. I know my crayfish pretty well. That's a female. This guy's definitely been in a fight a couple of times, and I think his claws are a little smaller than him. Because as you can see, these guys are. Are right here you should definitely try to keep your crayfish separate from each other but unless you're unless you're trying to breed them so I'm gonna do my favor I'm gonna grab all of these crayfish right here these red lobsters these beautiful red lobsters right now and possibly surprise wild with the farley with the red lobster as well as I already have two tanks ready to go for lobster and get a male and female for potential breeding in the future and yeah I think that's a male right there based on the looks of it and that's the female right there so We'll figure something out. We'll try to get some red babies. Maybe just do an order or get a pair or, some, or something like that. I'm really looking forward to getting back into that crayfish game. It's been a long time coming since I've been breeding some crayfish. So I think it's time. I can go ahead and do what I got to do best. And that is breeding these red crayfish, all the colorful lobsters and everything like that. So let's get these guys. Let's see what there is to see. I'm not going to feed them to Tyson right now. I'm not going to do that because I really like these. I usually would. You know, I'm, I'm kind of a savage. I kind of feed just about anything. So let me go ahead and get one of the customer service guys here and help me out with this crayfish. Now Slayers, if you didn't tune in before guys, we did a whole tour of this beautiful place. It's called Fishes Paradise. You can go ahead and visit this place. I'll put the information down below. Look at all the clothes here. We have my boy here helping me out with these crayfish. Now guys, come by, say hi, come feed the fish, feed the big tank. He's going to be getting all these crayfish for us. I'm so excited for that. Four massive crayfish that will be able to make a lot of crayfish babies and stuff like that get out of the way. Here cool. But we have this beautiful community tank here, all this stuff, nice red tails, and that it's really colorful, very interesting place that a lot of people visit definitely during their lunch time. <laughs> that is for sure. I mean, that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm visiting them. Let's have some fun. I mean, you want to start up your tanks? Here you go. We got the damsels. We have everything we need. I've been doing this pop swing thing. It's kind of cool, but also annoying at the same time. But guys, I'm really excited to be back on the grind. I'm really excited to be back out here. It's been a lot of fun. Relaxing, but also it's time to get back to work. Have some fun. Bring out some great content. Also throw back some old content as well. Doing what I used to love. And that is visit these kind of places, guys. If you know any places I can visit, drop them below. Direct message me my best to respond to your dms guys so please don't think i'm ignoring you it's just there's so many of you guys there's almost what we're almost 500k strong we're getting there about 30k away guys just make sure to subscribe like these videos share it with your friends tell your mans your women's your girlfriends all that type of stuff go ahead and subscribe man because it's, it's getting wild look at these guys you want to eat buddy nah we fed you in the last video guys check that out it was pretty epic what is this this thing is cleaning for you this is sick. The Robo Snail. <laughs> That's nice. So it cleans the entire tank for you. It's a little loud. I don't, I don't like it, but the fact that I want to have to clean my, my tank is awesome. Does it go home too? It goes home. Wow. Here you go. This is so sweet. That one's big. Can't even see that one. Let me bring it over here. Might grab you. It's okay. I'm used to it. Look how big this thing is. This thing's a monster. An absolute monster. How big is this one? This is a male or a female. We're going to have to sex these guys after we bag them up and put them in the house. See you, bud. You're good. All right. They're really nice and friendly. No worries. So, yeah. I think we'll meet you guys back at the sleep up. Now I'm here and I have beautiful crayfish in this tank right here. I have a beautiful white lobster. A beautiful white oh, lobster on the bottom right right there. And if you heard that voice, guys, you know what it is. You know what we do. It's the wild world of Farley back there. What's going on? Yeah, Bernardo? yeah. What's, What's up, on? man? I had him come over because he is the first one to successfully breed red giant lobsters. So right. I wanted to go ahead and show him what kind of lobsters we have here. And we have massive lobsters. Oh, my God. You're a lion to me. They are huge. They're huge, huge, oh my huge. God. Huge lobsters. It's absolutely insane. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna go ahead and sex them. I'm pretty sure it's two pairs. Yeah. I have a male, female, male, 
female. I know how you like those red lobsters, yeah. as well as I want to be able to give you this beautiful white lobster right Are here. Are you serious? As a gift yeah, for yeah. helping me out and actually making room for these red lobsters because I've yet to successfully breed them, and I want to go ahead and do that for you guys right now. Check this out. We're gonna sex this. We're gonna go ahead and sex this girl right now. Let's bring her into the light. Just use my makeup light. Can you guys see? And if we look here, ooh, these claws. These yeah, claws so are big, short and stubby. Big. And we gotta check her genitalia. And that is a female. So we have a huge female right here, right now. <laughs> check massive. this out. It is massive, Ooh. massive. And guys, you guys know, I have been labeled the crawfish king. I have them blues, the whites, even some mixes. But those mixes haven't caught yet, and I want to be able to get to that point. So I want to do red. I've yet to accomplish red. Maybe we'll do a mix of red, white, red, white, and blue, whatever. Remember Captain America, America and everything like that. So we're gonna add this one back here. This thing's massive. It really is. Let's see if it's this one. Let's see who this is. This guy looks like a male. Based on how long these claws are, looks like a male. Okay. All right, we're gonna flip them over. We gotta secure these claws. Make sure we don't get bit. Look at these claws going out. Oh my God, I see it. So right here, it's a, big boy. It's a male based on the genitalia there. That's a dude. So we're gonna add this one back. So right there we have a male, female. Perfect. Now I wanna go look into here, see what we got here. These claws look a little smaller, but longer. So I believe we might have another situation where we have males. That's oh, exactly yeah, yeah. what it is, male Some again. Big boy <laughs> and we have something over here. Let's see what we got over here. Let's see what we got over here. She's covering her tails here. Why is she covering her tails here? She's covering stuff because she has eggs. Jeff, you're lying to me. Oh my God, we have crayfish eggs already. Oh my God, we do. This is oh. crazy. Oh, she's losing it. So this is weird. They look like, unfortunately, they are not fertile. Uh, so I'm not. It's it's okay, but it's good to know that she is able to lay eggs. And she has small claws, so I think I'm gonna keep this one because we already see signs of eggs happening. Yeah. So she's obviously fertile and ready to go. And I'm gonna pick another one where he needs to be able to pin these claws down. That girl is massive. <laughs> Submission. Submission. That girl right here, this girl right here is massive. She is absolutely massive. Yeah, she did run over. And honestly, well, look at the colors. Look how red. Look how red. I don't wanna drop them. But look how red the other one is, like orange yeah. red and then super red. So I want super red, and these claws are small. So I'm gonna keep, you want this one, or or you want me to give him, catch him on fishing? I'm gonna catch him on fishing. All right, on this pond. Him. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably put it in his mom's pond, That'd where I put great. all the other ones. So I'm gonna put this one here, right now. Let's go ahead and see. Walk your way down. Oh, oh! There it is, perfect. <laughs> so she's there, maybe she hatches those eggs. Who knows, anything is possible. So let me go ahead and get a little bag for you all over the party so we can get that white one in there and then I'm gonna choose the male that's gonna be going inside that tank. Sounds that's good. Alright, cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some water from her tank right here. Okay. Her name is Snow White. She's a beautiful white rare lobster. That's enough water right there. So I think she should be good enough. You only have a short shift. So she'll be in there for a little bit and then you'll be able to take her home, right? Sounds good, yeah. yeah. Alright, cool. So I'm gonna put that there. Lights are awesome. I love these tanks. They're perfect for breeding. I'm gonna find a little net right here. I'm gonna make it a mess with all this water on the floor. And we're gonna take this little girl out. It's a little difficult because she's over here. And I don't know what that little thing on her tail is, but that makes her kind of. Oh my god! <laughs> that makes her kind of unique, though. Yeah. Hopefully, Maybe I could I could heal her. Yeah. If this is the situation, but you can always just change her name to Spot. Sure. Guys, comment below and let me know what you guys want me to name this. Yeah, hundred percent. So let's take her out. Let's see what's going on. She's pretty interesting. Look at these colors right here, guys. It's really pretty. She has a white, then she has these browns. I don't know what this is all about. This is interesting, but this is a female. So if you have something you want to breed to this, oh, yeah. you could be the first oh, one yeah. to potentially breed it. Be careful though, because if they're too big, they'll tear them apart and eat them. Ooh. So make sure Alvin's nice and fed before breeding, okay? Because okay. okay. I remember one time I brought one over to catch mom's place. Yeah. That guy didn't eat and tore apart. But oh, yeah. that's another news. Where is this bag of water right here while we're the Farley? Just gotta make sure she doesn't drop. We'll put her right in here. If you wanna check that out for a second. Plop! Yeah, yeah. She's good to go. And now you have a crayfish bag to go to work. Maybe you should make a video of taking my crazy oh, friend to work. Sure. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Oh my god, that's absolutely <laughs> hilarious. So again guys, shout out to Wild World of Farley. Let me go ahead and grab that camera so you can show my boy 
Wow, well, the party yeah, thank yeah. you so much. No worries, well, man. Me out right here. Anytime. We're gonna add this red guy right here. I'm gonna choose. Um, I'm probably gonna choose the bigger male, so it's gonna be this guy. Okay. Because she is a bigger female, so I'm gonna add this guy right here back into Snow White's old place or now spot. And I have no idea what I'm gonna name these two red ones right here. I'm gonna fix this for him. I love these pots. These pots are just amazing. Look at that. Already in home. Look at that. That's so good. Oh, look at that color. That is amazing. The colors are absolutely I really stunning. Them. I love them so the much. So I'm going to move her this way so you guys can see them. So it looks the same. I have gravel on the left side. I have sand on that side. So these crayfish are good to go. Again, guys, comment below what we should name our brand new red fireball lobsters or red colorful lobsters here, guys, because we're collecting them. Because we want to go ahead and breed as many as we can so that I can send these guys to you via predatory fins. And we can probably set something up with Wild World Aquatic and catch them while fishing. Who knows? Anything's possible, guys, nowadays. It's 2020. So, with that being said, I'm going to be taking these guys to catch them while fishing's place, dropping them at his mom's pond, and we'll see you over there. Thanks, Wild World Aquatic. No worries. All right, Slayers. So, here we are. We're at Catch Them place. And look at that neon army. That is insane. It's one of the coolest things I have personally have ever seen. And the beautiful koi that are in the back. Everything's looking great at this pond. And I have personally dropped hundreds of crayfish down here. I mean, hundreds of colorful lobsters down here several times. So with that being said, they could be in the cracks, the crevices, who knows? So guys, I went ahead and I brought over these crayfish right here. These are amazing. Look at the colors on that thing is just absolutely vibrant. And we have this guy in black. And with black sand, you can still even see him. Hey guys, you guys can see me too. So with that being said, guys, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is add these guys right here, right now. Alrighty, here you go. Here's the big female guys again. If you wanna be able to identify your crayfish and sex them, just gotta flip them over, secure those claws, cause those claws really do hurt and they will get you. Look that right there, if the camera wants to focus. Come on big dog, let me help you out here. Solo doe, there you go. That is how you can tell it's a female, right there is that dot. Can you open that up for me? Oh, oh, she's gonna get me. She's gonna get me, hold, please don't get me. Oh my God, I'm like in the perfect spot where she doesn't get me. I don't want to move. These things hurt, it hurts so bad. She's just clinging on to me. So this is the female guys, and you guys know I already sexed that several times on my channel and earlier today. Where's it at? This guy right here, come on. Out of the algae, get in there, get in there. That's so cool, look at that. Looks so awesome in a pond. Imagine an entire pond of colorful lobsters that are successfully breeding at all times. I had one in a bathtub and it was pretty cool. Here you go. Let's grab the male. Let me go ahead and show you guys how to sex these males one more time. I know you guys ask me all the time. I get DMs daily about crayfish, if I'm gonna breed them, sell them, etc. So I wanna go ahead and make your dreams come true this year and make that happen. If I can flip this guy over, these claws should be a lot bigger. So these are actually claws that have regrown. But let's go ahead and take a look. See that right there is how you can tell it's a male and the male and the female tickle each other and make babies. Get in there. Look at that, and just like that, you'll never know what's going on. They'll hide right in the algae, eat that up, and they're also like cleaners. They'll help clean up this pond. I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on here, and it's pretty dense, but it's perfect because there's constant lake water changes at all times. Look at that red guy go. Look at that, the other one's gone. So Slayers, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Subscribe to my boys, catch them all fishing. Wild Willow Farley, we're a whole family down here, and we'll see you on the next Slay Adventure. Booyah.